Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm working on a Dell Latitude 15 3510 laptop. I'm going to show you how to get inside, access your CMOS battery. So first thing guys, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then going to flip the computer over to access our bottom case screws. Now you see there's three screws along this bottom edge, three screws along this top edge, and then one on each side near the center. Now these screws don't actually come out of the bottom case, they'll just loosen. And then you're gonna take a small, flat, preferably plastic pry tool. I say plastic because they'll scratch your computer case a lot less than a metal pry tool will, but they're strong enough to be able to take this bottom case off. So go around the outside seam of the bottom case and gently but firmly pry it up all the way around. Don't put the pry tool too far in you can damage some internal components, just keep it on the edge. And if you get stuck going in one direction and you can't get it up, leave it alone, go to the other side and continue in the other direction. After you get your bottom case up, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now as a quick computer repair side note guys, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, I have it sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet will go a long way to help you damaging things in your computer. If you need any help with tools or supplies, as well as any replacement or upgrade parts for the Latitude 3510, there'll be a link above, also below in the description. It'll have all the tools and supplies that I would use on this computer, as well as all of these replacement and upgrade parts here if you needed help finding those. Now, before I touch anything inside a computer, guys, I always either remove or at least unplug my main computer battery. It makes it safer to work on the computer when as little power as possible is running through it. So first I'll show you how to remove or unplug your battery. Now to get this battery out, you have these four screws near each of the white triangles, all four screws right here. And then the battery comes up here and plugs into the motherboard right here. So you have a choice of where you want to unplug the battery from. If you're going to unplug it from this top connector there, um, as with any cables and wires in a computer, guys, try not to pull on the wires if at all possible. Try to just manipulate the plug. So this plug is easy. It's got a grip on either side. You can use your fingernails or a pry tool and wiggle that right out of that port. If you want to unplug it from here, that's just a snap, so that snaps right off. And that's how you would get your battery out. Okay, so now that the main battery has been removed or at least unplugged, it's safe to proceed deeper into the computer. This is your CMOS battery right here. Um, it's held down by a double-sided tape. So if you're looking to replace it, you just pop it off. It, it comes off fairly easily. And then you would unplug it from the motherboard right here. If you're here to reset BIOS, you don't need to physically remove the battery. Just unplug it uh, for around 15, 20 seconds. That should be sufficient to reset your BIOS system settings. Uh, if you are here to replace it, I'll have a replacement option below in the description in that link of all the replacement parts for the 3510 that I told you about, I'll have a CMOS battery replacement option in there. Uh, if you're here to reset BIOS, just a couple side notes. Um, this will most likely reset your BIOS system settings, but in most cases will not reset your BIOS password. So just keep that in mind while you're here. And then lastly, if you're trying to reset BIOS because your computer isn't turning on and you're trying that to sort of wake it up, uh, there are other troubleshooting steps you can do to figure out why your computer is not turning on. I will have a video link above, also below in the description, taking you to a video showing you how to troubleshoot a computer that's not turning on. So I hope this was helpful. That's how you access your CMOS battery in the Latitude 3510. So that's the video, guys. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or comment, please do. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. To support the channel, please remember to like and share. Subscribe if you enjoy this type of DIY tutorials. And for those of you that want to support the channel a little further, you can always leave a small donation. And there's a couple ways to do that. First, right below the video to the right hand side, you'll see the super thanks button. You can click on that. You can select a tip amount here. Second way, you can use your cash app. Find me at dollar sign PC helper. You can leave a dollar amount and you can even leave a little note. So thank you so much for watching guys and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.